Hi everyone, welcome to another video on CompTIA A plus core 2 exam questions. This is video 2 in this series. So without wasting further time, let's get started. So the question 1 in today's video is that for a newly added storage drive, this command line, this command line tool allows to configure it with a file system enabling Windows to store information on the drive. And the options are GPART, SF disk, mount and format and the correct answer is format command. Question number two is that which of the following command prompt commands in MS Windows can be used to copy one or more files from one location to another and the options are copy, move, cp and push d and the correct answer is copy. So the copy command is used to copy one or more files from one location to another. Question number three is which Microsoft Windows command line commands allows for copying multiple files and directories including subdirectories and we have to select all the correct answers and the options are cp, xcopy, move, robocopy and copy and the correct answers are xcopy and robocopy. So these two commands are used to copy multiple files and directories including subdirectories from one location to another. Question number four is that which copying utility accessible via Windows command line interface offers the widest range of options and the options are xcopy, move, robocopy, X, uh, copy and cp and the correct answer is robocopy. Question number five is that which of the command prompt commands listed below allows for updating multiple group policy settings in Microsoft Windows and the options are NetUser, GP Update, BCD Edit and GP Result and the correct answer is GP Update. Question number six is that a command line tool in Windows that displays group policy information for a machine or a user is called and the options are GP result, net view, verify, GP update and the correct answer is GP result. Question number seven is that the following command can be used to shut down or restart a local or remote host running Microsoft Windows and the options are power off, exit, boot, CFG and shutdown and the correct answer is shutdown. So the shutdown command is used to shut down or restart a local or remote host running Microsoft Windows. Question number 8 is that the CFC command prompt utility in Microsoft Windows and the options are this command encrypts files and folders. Option two is scans the integrity of all protected system files and replaces incorrect versions with correct Microsoft versions. Option three is displays information about system hardware and software configuration. And option four is checks a disk and displays a status report. And the correct answer is that it scans the integrity of all protected system files and replaces incorrect version with correct Microsoft version, the CFC command. Question number nine is that which command line commands in Windows can be used to display help information related to a specific utility? We have to select two answers and the options are command name followed by help keyword man or manual followed by the command name option 3 is command name followed by info option 4 is help followed by command name and the last option is command name followed by forward slash and question mark and the correct answers are the help keyword followed by the command name and the command name followed by forward slash question mark. 
So for example, we want to know uh, information about a command, let's suppose ping. So how we can do that in CMD? Either we can write ping followed by forward slash and question mark or we can write help keyword followed by the ping command. So these are the correct answers. And question number 10 is that which of the command prompt commands in Microsoft Windows launches a text-based command line partition partitioning utility and the options are SF disk, disk, uti disk util, or disk utility, G part and disk part. And the correct answer is disk part. Question number 11 is which network command line utility in Windows combines the feature of ping and Trace RT and the options are path ping, net config, dig, and RPC ping. And the correct answer is path ping. So the path ping combines the feature or functionality of both the ping and trace RT. So the ping it only uh, gives you the status of a remote host that whether it is available or not, whether it is alive or not, while the trace RT it gives you hop to hop information it go uh, it uh, uh, traces all the hops that are between the source or you and between the destination the path ping does both it also checks the availability of the remote host while it also gives you all the hops in between you and the remote host Question number 12 is that which of the command prompt commands in Microsoft Windows launches a pop-up window containing brief summary of the installed operating system. Options are WinWar on Win1 Run, MS Info32, System Info and MS Config. And the correct answer is WinWar. So this uh, command it gives you the version of the in, in simple word, we can say that it gives you the version and the summary of the operating system installed on your computer. Question number 13 is that which of the Windows command line commands listed below change the current directory to the root directory? We have to select two answers. And the options are cd followed by dot dot, cd forward slash r, cd backward slash, change directory, space dot dot change directory forward slash r and change directory backward slash and the correct answers are cd and backward slash and chdir change directory and backward slash so cd it also stands, stands for change directory while chdir also stands for change directory and we have to write the backward slash to move from the current directory to the root directory. Question number 14 is that which of the following answers refer to an IP configuration parameter used for displaying the full TCP IP configuration information for all adapters? And the options are dash A, forward slash question mark, forward slash all, forward slash dash A. And the correct answer is forward slash all. So we have uh, done this, uh, uh, most of you have uh, must have used this command that uh, if you write ip config forward slash all, it gives you all the information of your network cards, their IP addresses, their MAC addresses, including the Wi-Fi MAC, Wi-Fi IP address, the uh, uh, Ethernet card, its version, its manufacturer, and its MAC address. So this uh, parameter is used to display all the information of TCP IP configuration of all the adapters. Question number 15 is that which of the command prompt commands listed below are used for resetting the DHCP configuration setting for all adapters in Microsoft Windows and we have to select two answers and the options are IP config disable if config it zero down IP config 
slash forward slash release ip config uh, slash enable uh, if config is zero down and if ip config slash renew and the correct answer are ip config uh, slash release and ip config slash renew so the if config this command is used in linux while ip config release and ip config renew this is used in windows for dhcp configuration setting question number 16 is that which net state parameter allows to display all the active tcp connections in the tcp udp ports on which the computer is listening and the options are dash a dash p dash e and dash r and the correct answer is dash a a stands for all you can relate it here a stands for all the active tcp connection and all the tcp udp ports question number 17 is that which of the following net state parameters display address and port numbers in numerical form and again the options are dash b dash n dash q and dash r and the correct answer is dash n and you can relate this here to the numerical n stands for numerical question number 19 is that the slash f switch of the check this command prompt utility in microsoft windows what it does the options are it locates bad sectors and recovers readable information option 2 is it fixes errors on the disk option 3 is it displays cleanup messages option 4 is it displays the full path and name of every file on the disk and the correct answer is that it fixes errors on the disk the slash f switch and uh, the question number 18 is the numbering uh, numbering uh, is a little bit confusing but uh, uh, let's get on with it which of the command line tools listed below can be used for troubleshooting dns related problems and the options are arp ns lookup trace rt and path ping and the correct answer is yes ns lookup domain name server and the ns also stands for name server so you can relate both these here to identify the correct answer question number 20 is that the slash r switch of the check disk command utility command line utility in windows and we have to select two answers and the options are it displays the cleanup messages option two is it locates bad sectors and recovers readable information option three is it uses more system resources to perform a scan as fast as possible Option 4 is it displays the full path and name of every file on the disk. Option 5 is it fixes errors on the disk. And the correct answer is that it locates the bad sectors and recovers readable information. So you can relate it that the R stands for the recovery or recover. And again the second correct answer is that it fixes the errors on the disk question number 21 is that which copy command switch in windows verifies that the new files are written correctly and the options are dash slash dash y slash v slash y and slash a and the correct answer is slash v so we can relate it that for verification we have to use the switch slash v question number 22 is that which of the command which of the copy command switches suppresses the confirmation prompt displayed when windows is about to override the content of an existing file options are slash v slash y slash a and slash dash y and the correct answer is slash y 
Question number 23 is that which of the following is the correct command for setting the timeout period of 30 seconds before powering off, powering off a Windows host? And the options are shutdown slash r slash t space 30, shutdown slash s slash 30, shutdown slash s slash t space 30. And last option is shutdown slash r slash 30 and the correct answer is shutdown slash s slash t and slash 30 so s stands for it's shutdown and t stands for the time and for how much time 30 seconds so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed the video if you haven't subscribed yet so please subscribe so that you can uh, watch the latest and the upcoming videos. Stay tuned. Thank you all.